Chilling Rain is finally here, and the first Chilling Rain deck I want to try is one of my favorites. Gardevoir, of course. Uh, let's try. It's a oh, very good card. Let's. Uh, it's gonna be an ice. Gonna be an ice time here, isn't it? <laughs> uh, anyway, so Gardevoir, Shining Arcana. Oh my gosh. Top two cards. Attach energy finder. That's basic energy to your Pokemon. And then put, add the cards here. So you're just you're basically drawing two cards. You get a lot of them out. Boom. You have Cresselia with this Crescent Glow, which, you know, does the Volcanion. Tash Energies if you go second. Mew to protect the bench because we need that. Orangaroo to help maybe get a Psychic Energy on top of your deck so you can, you know, specially attach that to a Pokemon. You have Ralts. And then Curlia, which is basically our new F Frogadier. Yay, Mirage Step. Uh, for the one Psychic, yeah, put as many Curlias as you can on the bench. And then next turn... Boom, Gardevoir. You have Glade here as well for Galade, whatever he's pronounced. There for the Fighting Weakness, which is good. And then uh, you play the Trevor and Dustin Noir while we still can. The one guy that takes up some prizes. So who knows? We'll see how it works out with him. Or just go straight up Gardevoir or someone else. We'll find out. Then, of course, you have all these Psychic Energy, a lot of Psychic Energy, and Ordinary Rods. To get back those energies, Pokemon combination for who you want, when you want, as usual. In case you want to get out those Gutter Bars right now. Put back some, you know, Curly is, and we have Stamp and Path to the Peak, because we don't need to worry about any of that. Boss has orders to get out some nastier Pokemon we want to KO. Cynthia and Caitlyn bring back, basically to bring back uh, Fallen Supporters. Switch, Switch comes in handy. I mean, it... it I feel like switch switching Pokemon is like a must. Of course, we have Marnies uh, in there for some more draw, hand disruption a little bit. But this deck draws a lot of them. We have Professor's Research. When you get all those Gardevoirs out, you, you could deck out. You, you could deck out. I'm not going to lie. It, it gets to the point where it's a little too fast. And then Jesse and James to go along with, you know, the old school Dust Noir Trevenant, uh, Trevenant uh, Tag Team GX. That was a fun deck back in the day. I like that deck. With the old Miss Magius and Dust Stone. But then we have Fall Crystals, Evolution Incenses as well to help search out what you need. And then Curlia, she's there to help set up. And then boom, Shine Arcana and Brainwave doing some massive damage. A decent amount of damage to Shutting Or. If you think you can, throw them all on there and knock out a big guy. It's a pretty fun deck. Gardevoir. This Gardevoir is amazing. It's still a shame that she's not psychic anymore, but at least she's getting the support. You know what I mean? Fairy. But she's getting the psychic support, so that's all good in there. Now, this with maybe a Shadow Rider Calyrex might be too much draw power, but who knows? Because this one alone, whew, you can duck out. Let's have some fun with Gardevoir, huh? Right? <laughs> oh, hee <laughs> hee. Uh, let's see what we got. Waiting for the opponent to set up. Oracorio! GX sitting up in front. We got a. Alright, I think the hand's decent. We have the Psychic Energy. We can Pokecom both those away. For... I don't know. Uh, another Ralt, just in case. Probably would be the best thing to do. Because I keep forgetting, once you cheat the evolution, you can still have the Ralts. If you're playing the build with rare candies... Hmm. You can get a lot of stuff out. Oh, I'm going against my favorite deck. Been my favorite deck since Orbital VMAX came out. I love that deck, especially. I will keep saying it. Especially once we got Cheryl. Ooh, the deck is fun and crazy. Now we are going second. Maybe. Ah, yeah, we'll go Cresselia. We'll just call it that. Oh, yeah. Can't forget that. We need all of those. We need all of her right now. But I mean, but I'm losing one isn't bad. We have, uh, right, oh boy, we're going to get lots of that. Mm. 
Yeah. I knew it. Even with all the switching cards in there, we're still... But... That's why I kind of felt like... Get that other Ralts, because... Oh, boy. <laughs> but at least next turn we could start... Ah. Ah, pretty bomb ahead. It's going to be the Weezing. I remember Weezing. I like the Weezing deck. It was a good deck. I like that Weezing. Still glad to see people still playing that Weezing. Got a Psychic Energy. And maybe we'll get two. That could be fun. But I just know I'm going to Marnie and end up drawing into three Curlias, and then it's going to be like, oh boy. <laughs> so they can keep their hand. They can keep their hand. We're doing good here. Once we get the guard of wards out, we're gonna be just. We're just gonna be killing it. Guard of wards is gonna be kicking some booty. That's what I'm saying. All they could do, which is nice. <sighs> Path of the Peak will be good against for the Rokorio. That way we should be good. We just need an Energy and a Guard of War, and we should be good. We haven't seen any Guard of Wars yet. She's got to be somewhere. We're going to get two of them. And we have a lot of Psychic Energy in our hand, though. But let's just get going with her. Woo! There we go. Put it on her. We can knock out one of those wheezings. What's good with this is we're taking the first prize. Because I feel like with how, you know, my Pokemon are HP-wise, it's going to be just a back and forth. Considering I have my uh, Tag Team Jex out on there as well. And I'm going to foolishly, because concerning, I want to get some energy on them too and have some fun with the hand stuff there. But I probably don't need to, oh good, I can draw back my energies. That hand was all energy. I was going to Marty my turn anyway. <laughs> so either way. So I shut off their Oracorio. Nice. And uh, Orbital VMAX ain't going to be able to do nothing. Sad face, because I love Orbital VMAX. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. See, like I said, I'm going to do that. Go another one. And I'm thinking again. Most people be like, hey, go for whatever. But I'm like, nah. Go for the main threat. Those guys are shut off for right now. We have another path to peak. Going for us. I, I'm just questioning because like, now they got a big hand. You remember, you can't have more than four cards in hand. You can't. But I'm thinking, get rid of that. No more draw for them. That was their only means of draw. Since Oracorio was shut off and all. I would think at some point they should be able to run to theirs. The Turf Field uh, Stadium. Which is a must in this deck. And again, as I said, you can't have 
more than four cards in your hand at a time in this game. Your opponent will just never allow you to have more than four cards in hand. No. <laughs> we still got the boss. We don't really need the boss right now. Get ourselves another guard of war. <laughs> so we'd be drawn like crazy here, as I said. We should be good doing it that way. Oh yeah, I forgot to have Curly on my hand. Hopefully I remember. Oh no, there goes our path to the peak. But we did not get that last turn, so they're not going to be able to. Oh no. Like I said, I should have put my Curly on there. Poor little Ralts. <laughs> now they can't do any more of that. Oh well, we got three. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Shine Arcana, nope. Putting on her. Putting on her and try another Shining Arcana. Arcana. We got from Yu-Gi-Oh! that tried to bust off your legs. That was spelled with a K though, but still. One more. Oh. Two more. Oh. Well. We have Marnies. We have Marnies. Bump and up, bump, 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 bump. Looks like we're just gonna have to boss out. You know, just the heck with the ore beetles. Because of those amazing Cheryls. I was figuring since they weren't drawing so much, maybe go for it. But we still have two bosses in hand unless they Marnie or reset stamp. Because remember, you can't have more than so many cards in hand. No, 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 no. We got another. <laughs> hit no. Why else would I play it? I was wondering, if you did that and you hit no, would it not even, like, would you just have wasted your supporter? <sighs> know what I'm saying? Yeah, we'll do that. I really wanted to do the Death Storm, but I just don't trust it. You know what I'm saying? Because of uh, the attack of our Orbital VMAX friend. Because he would, you know, boss... Oh. I guess because there's no energy on it. I mean, I... 
9, 10, 11. I have two energy left. So, and I do have switch. Okay, I have one energy left. <laughs> uh, I just probably prized. I mean, I just do another switch, which I don't really need. No, let's just draw. We have Marnies. We can't deck out. We can't deck out. We have Marnie. <laughs> I always go with the do both. It's like uh, just a knee-jerk reaction. So I probably didn't need to do that. But again, we won't deck out. And uh, that should be... 170 should be it brainwave boom and we did it shame we had to do that to our boys i love orbital vmx it's a shame we had to do it but we did it let's move on to the next one a victory for gardevoir good for her awesome card you see that look how close we were thank heaven for the marnies uh, look how close we are to decking out. So, I mean, we have such a large hand. Even when they take it away from us, we still get the large hand. Oh, we're going against the Malamar deck. I like this deck. At first, when I saw it, I was like, I like it. But how good can it be? Because you have to shuffle stuff back in your hand. And then you see people going, oh, you know, artillery, Karina's focus. Duh. And it is one of the best of the budget ones that come out from this set. I love it. It's probably in my top... I don't know if I have a top 10. Could you get a top 10 of this? But I know it's in my top something there with this deck that I'm playing right now. So my Gardevoir, Malamar. Gardevoir, Malamar. Wouldn't work. Wouldn't need to happen. But both these decks are some of my favorite along with... I'm really digging the Ice Rider. More so than the Shadow Rider, just because that Ice Rider can do a lot of damage early on. And I'm really liking it, so be prepared, as Scar said. Be prepared for, uh, uh, you know. Yeah, if it goes down, it goes down. Come on, let's draw some Curlias. I knew it. But we're putting her back. Um, I guess set him up to start destroying their plans. Let's see. They start getting rid of their plans. Whoops. Ah, oh, well. It's not what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted to put the uh, fog back in there because now they're gonna it's gonna get shuffled back in. All right, but we will be getting draw support in the form of Gardevoir, so it's not a total loss. And they're gonna have to get not that much, but if we can not get knocked out here, we'll have three energy on, and that'll be the one that becomes Gardevoir. That cute little Curlia. That helped us out and set up that, and right in the active there, something tells me they don't have, you know, the uh, Malamar. They don't have what they need to attack, so they're, alright, so we should be able to get the first knockout. They are, well, I'm, I think I'm going to play the boss, so they won't be drawing off that lucky egg quite yet. Sometimes I feel like 13 isn't even enough for Gardevoir. Oh, I love that. Don't you love that? When you Oranguru an energy for an energy. It's like, I get an energy no matter... Meh. You love it. Well, as of now, we only have the one. But we're going to boss out the Remoraid. So that's the way. We're going to brainwave it that way. It's good. They're going to need another Remoraid to get to the Octillery. So they can't do their Octillery 
shenanigans with uh, Karina's Focus and all that other stuff. <laughs> so I think we're off to a good start. What With this deck, what it is going to come down to is because... We're all basically one prizers. So if we keep, you know, obviously, eventually, like, they'll knock out Gardevoir. Then I knock out theirs. And then they knock out another. And then I knock out another. And then they knock out another. It's all, uh, since we took the first prize, I'm thinking we should be good here. Because they're going to need a lot. They still get it. They're going to need a lot to knock out the big guy down there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what are they going to do? What are they going to do? Still don't think they have enough to take out, uh... So we're good here. We're gonna be, you know, ahead by two prizes, which is always good. There we go. There we go, so we got him. Doesn't really matter. Unless they have an Oracorio. I don't think they would want to bench it. Seems how now it is shut off. But then, who knows us if they play the Towers. Tower, Tower, Observation Deck. Stupid Simpsons. Every time. Love them. Uh, we'll wait. Said we'll wait. And uh, let's start disrupting that hand and hopefully prevent them from all that Karina Octillery Shenanigans. Of course, they're going to Lucky Egg, so they're going to get all that back and more. So, what am I really accomplishing here? I don't know. I just realized that after I'm like, oh yeah. That's good. No damage counters on them yet. But let them get I feel kind of sorry for them. But they're going to need that entire hand to knock out who we got. Good idea for the build. Lucky egg. Lucky egg. Lucky egg. Oh, and they still got that too. Oh, they got everything after all that. <whistles> when are you going to get them, Artillery? Mm. Of course. Why not? What else would you get? <laughs> Two. Uh, they still aren't going to have... Oh. Mm. Mm. Alright, well, I think I might keep them there. Because like I said, I go down to three, they'll knock them out, they'll go down to three, but then I'll go to two, they go to two, I go to one, they go to one, I go to zero. So... No matter what, since we're always ahead of them, at least right now, we're ahead, we're, and we have energy on all our Gardevoir, we have three Gardevoir out. That means we have three attackers, we're going to need three attackers to attack, and we should be good. And thankfully, we got the boss's order, should I go for that Octillery? And then you have them just top deck in. Good luck getting your stuff now. Ha ha. 
I'll put there in case we need to draw next turn. And uh, let's go with it. Get rid of that hand. No more hand for you. Ha ha. And if you notice, we're keeping the fairy theme here because fairies forever. Screw you, PTCGO or Pokemon TCG on general. Oh my gosh, that's the top deck of top decks. It's not going to help them win, but of course they top deck into uh, draw six. This happens to me. I draw into anything I can't use. Now, if you see my Heart of the Card video, where it mattered because I won with a top deck like that, oh yeah. It was amazing. They're really worried about that guard wire. Which I'm okay with. I mean, I guess so they don't have to discard as much, maybe, but you're gonna. You know, you're going to have to use it anyway. Ruh -ruh. Let's do that. <laughs> See, like I said, I trigger finger, do both. I just want the energy. Do it again. Nope. Let's wait till the next of that, then I go down the two, or one even. I don't know. I'm thinking I like the idea of that. Let's save someone here again. Let's save Marnie in case something happens. Nice. And now we're just going to get the money back. Oh, let's get boss. Let's get a boss back. Nice. And we'll just need one energy on her. We have a lot of draw. And I'm pretty sure we got this because they need to take down three of our Pokemon. I need to take down two of theirs. Um... And I'll have, unless I incredibly just have bad luck with this Gardevoir with only two energy, and I don't get a third on her, it feels like it's impossible to, uh, er, uh, er, uh, to, er, uh, to lose this. But Gardevoir is amazing. I love the deck. There's so much draw. So much ridiculous draw on the setup. I love Curlia being the new Frogadier. It's fun. It's awesome. And it just, it works. I really like the deck. I want to see more builds, more decks. Who else can she team up with? What else can she do? Fun, pretty powerful, and just a very fast, too fast at times deck. I think so. So let me know what you think. Uh, other types you think she'll be great paired with. And, uh, yeah, again, I know we got a little bit more to go, but I just want to say again, thanks for watching. Uh, spread the word, get more out there. Uh, it, the game's enjoyable. I like playing all these different types of decks, most of the time not the big ones. Just for fun and to try out new decks and new things and show them off and see how good they can be just for the fun of it and to show off every Pokemon has a chance to do something. It's kind of what I like to do, so... But, you know, it would be nice to get more support, so hopefully you can, and uh, let's just get out, I don't know, doesn't really matter, there, and then they can't go into, uh, if they have the other one that lets you get two items. We don't need anything else, we've won this, because they now got this Gardevoir, we're down 1-1, one, one, but then I get the first hit first, when it comes down to the 1-1. One, the one. There was a Curly in there, little minx, but hope you liked it, I, it, it it's, it's cool. More support would be nice. Thanks for watching. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. And uh, enjoy some more Pokemon. Enjoy Gardevoir. It's really, uh, really good tech. And it was fun. And but the other deck, too. I can't wait to play the Malamar. I love the, love the Malamar deck.
That's fun too. But Gardevoir is amazing. This deck is amazing. Amazing card. One of the best cards in the set. So I hope you liked it again. All that stuff there. Yeah, enjoy having ice time. This has been Professor. Tizzle <laughs>